guys, it's Mansell here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool shopping bags for your Barbie. And these are really easy to make. I've also left a template on my Facebook page, so you can just simply print it off, cut it out, and glue it together. So I've left some pre-printed ones here for you, like this Mummy and Gracie show one, as well as the blank one if you wanted to create your own. And before we get started, I'll just show you all the ones that I've made so far. And these ones here have been created from some of my favourite YouTubers. I did have a whole lot more to show you, but Baby Andreas decided to put custard in them. And the first one I made is from the Mummy and Gracie show. And this one is Cookie Swirl C. And I just created some chocolate chips there on the side. And up next we have the super colourful baby teeth ball bag, with the blue sides. And with Radio JH Audrey's bag, I picked out the colours over here and did them on the sides. And with Claudina Nine's bag, I picked out a photo and put it there on the front. And this bag here is Jason from J Squared, and I put his character there on the front. I also put J Squared down on the side and used his latest photo there on the back. And this is the whatnot spot. And around on the side I put refreshingly quirky. And there on the back I've just used the logo only. I also use this red for the underneath colour. And for my channel I've used Baby Andreas. And it's the same on both sides. And there are all the bags that I made, so I'm going to go ahead now and show you how to put one together. And the first thing you need to do is print off your design, so if you head over to my Facebook page, which I'll leave in the description down below, you can print off the blank template or one I've already created. And the paper I use is actually this photo card. If you don't have any of this, use a thin cardboard. Try not to use paper because it's just too thin to work with. And here's my design printed, and now what I'm going to do is go around the edges and cut it out. And for that I'm going to use my standing knife, but you can use a pair of scissors. And if you're underage, please get a parent or guardian to cut this out for you. Now that I have my bag design cut out, I'm going to score along this black line at the top here, as well as this one down the bottom, and these two at the sides, and then when I score it, it'll fold a lot easier. Now that the card has been scored, I'm just going to fold these two white ends in, and this is where we're going to glue it in place. I'm also going to fold these two ends in as well.
And now it's time to make the holes to feed the straps through. And to make the holes, I'm going to be using this darning needle and I'm just going to poke it through the card. And I'm going to do the same again on the other side. I'm also going to repeat the same process on the side as well. To make the holes bigger, I'm going to use a skewer. And these are used to cook shish kebabs on. Now the holes are big enough to thread the straps through. And for the straps you can use anything you like. You can use ribbon, wool, string. But I'm going to be using this leather here. So I've just gone ahead and cut out two pieces. And you can make these as long or short as you like. And you'll need two even pieces. And then you just want to thread your straps through the holes. And this leather here I picked up from Spotlight, but you can also pick it up from Hobby Lobby or any other type of craft shop. And to stick them in place, I'm going to use some sellotape. And I'm going to do the same again on the other side. And now all I need to do is glue it together, and I'm going to be using my glue stick for that. And I'm just going to glue around the edges. And with the two side pieces, just bring those up first, and connect it with both the front and the back of the bag. And if you want to speed up the drying process, I'd just use a hair dryer. And that is it guys, there is our little shopping bag all complete. And as a finishing touch, I just use some of this tissue paper, which I have there in the background, and it comes in all sorts of different colours. If you don't have any of this, you can just use plain or coloured paper, even crepe paper or card. And for this one here, I'm going to be using black and white together. And I'm just going to place them over the top of each other like this, and then fold them into a triangle. And then fold the backs in. So fold the bottom up so it fits in the bag, and then just simply pop it in. And there's our shopping bag all complete. It's really simple to make. And these bags are really effective if you want to put them on display with your Barbies. Or if your Barbie is a real shopper like my one is, she can hold more than one. And these shopping bags are the ideal size, and we can even get them all in Barbie's car. Okay guys, that comes into my tutorial on how to make a Barbie shopping bag. Again, the designs I've used are from some of my favourite YouTubers. And like I said earlier, I did print a whole lot more, but Baby Andreas decided to put custard in them. And if you do want to give these a go, again these templates are available on my Facebook page. So you can just simply print them off, cut them out, and glue them together. Anyway guys, have fun creating, and I'll see you tomorrow. Put it back.